Well, Pat and Sam, it used to be thought that testosterone was the link to aggression in dogs, but researchers at the U of A say no, that's not it. They did a study and found that a chemical called vasopressin actually spiked when dogs got angry or lunged at another animal, not testosterone. Now, the U of A researchers at the Canine Cognition Center, it's a brand new center, did a study on dozens of dogs and their reactions to a 3D dog model. Then they measured hormone levels afterwards. They say identifying the link between vasopressin, vasopressin and aggression could help lead to therapies down the line. There may be ways that we could um, uh, basically alter the, these hormones in dogs' bodies and see if this creates any changes in behavior. And if uh, something like that works out, it could turn out to be a promising therapeutic. Researchers say a common misconception about solving aggression in dogs is to get your pet neutered. But researchers say there's actually no science to back that up. Now, coming up in the next half hour, we'll talk about more common misconceptions that U of A researchers at the Canine Cognition Center want to debunk, as well as how you can get your dog involved in studies at the Canine Cognition Center. Pat and Sam, back to you.